So guys, this is how the kitchen looks after I've decluttered and organized everything. As you've seen, I've removed the, all the boxes that were there because all of them were empty and they were not being used. So I removed them from over there. And then I organized this space over here. As you can see. Yeah, that part. I wiped everything. And then over here, this is where I put my kitchen towels. Yeah. And anything that I need closer over here. Wiped on top of the microwave. And then, oh, this flower, I had already talked about it in my first video. I got this from uh, Stage Market. You can get it at 250 at Stage Market. And then for the microwave, I wiped with vinegar and water. As you can see inside there, it's so clean, sparkling clean, guys. Vinegar and water. And still, I I used the taco oven cleaner. Kiasi too. The taco oven cleaner. Yeah, you can see guys how clean it is. For the fridge, I used only vinegar and water. I didn't I didn't use the taco oven cleaner. And then I decided to put a paper over here because it's easy to wipe when maybe food particles pour. So this paper really helps me. I, I, I got it from Kamukonji. Yeah, you guys can look for it at Kamukonji that paper it's waterproof so it's easier to wipe when there's anything dirty or even when there's water so i cleaned the fridge i removed everything over there and uh, wiped the down part because sometimes when i cook food pours over there so guys this is what i also did the with my cabinets I arranged everything and put this paper after wiping. Looks so beautiful. For my spices, I usually put them down here so that I can it can be easy for me to reach them. I'm not that tall. So as you can see, I've arranged everything there. Guys, I, if you know where I can get uh, some bottles to to put my my spices please comment down below and tell me where i can get them and also i leave the labeling papers guys if you know where i can get labeling papers please uh comment down below tell me where i can get some if you know for the second one where i put my cereals guys i wiped everything wiped the uh storage cans and then i put a paper over there you see how beautiful it looks guys yeah and for the next one still i did the same but the paper finished when i was just about to put on top there so i'm going to buy another one and finish that but it looks so beautiful the paper is making the place look so beautiful and it will be easy for me to to wipe if anything pours so for my cooker, you guys, you've seen what the taco cooker cleaner did. Oh my god, it cleaned so well. I thought I was wiping. Yes, I could see I was wiping the top of it, but inside there. Oh my god. It put, it put me to shame, guys, because I thought my oven was clean until I used the taco oven cleaner, guys. As you can see, the oven is so clean and shiny. Yeah. So, you guys, try the taco oven cleaner, guys. It's so nice. Sorry for that. It's so good and it, it cleans well, but you have to use gloves to clean using the taco oven cleaner. Where I put my groceries, you can see I organized everything, removed these and... Uh, wiped everything also wiped the down part opened in there where i put my cylinder my gas cylinder i wiped everything my kitchen counter as you can remember it had a lot of utensils which were dirty guys i cleaned every 
thing every And you just let them dry over there because the wood cannot get destroyed so this is what i did guys tell me how you see it i organized everything i cleaned my sufurias my god my sufurias i was washing them in a hurry guys so they were not all that clean but yesterday guys i cleaned everything yeah, even this shear I removed it as you can remember I washed them together with the window shears I washed it together with the window shears so behind the door you can remember I had so many things and all those those things I was not using them so uh, I decided I'll, I'll remove them and then uh, remain with my speaker there so that I can be listening to some music while doing my work yeah and behind the door i wiped at the door and then this is something that couldn't come out come out when i was wiping i don't know what that is but i wiped the door and then put my kitchen so guys i wiped the door the handle because of the baby babies and everything now is clean even the switch i wiped every bit of this kitchen and every corner of it guys as you can see it's so clean it's so so clean and then i've trained uh tiffany because now she knows what being clean means uh, if anything pours, just collect it and put it in the dustbin. So the last part of it I'm going to show you is this part. Sorry, is this part. You guys can remember how dirty it was. Uh, it had so many things inside there. So I decided the things that uh, were behind the door, the cleaning stuff that were behind the door, I kept them over here together with my cleaning detergent. And then I put my shopping bags over there in my dustbin right next over there so that when I get something from my sink, it's just the dust dustbin is right there. And then the for my baby, I usually like hiding the dustbin because I don't have a dustbin with a, which can be covered. So I'm going to look for that. So tell me guys how you see my kitchen. I'm going to take you around through again to see the difference. So we started from on top there to the down part to the cooker to my grocery shelf.
to my counter to the window then to my utensil shelf down all the way to paint everything behind the door so guys tell me how you see it tell me how you see it. to take a shot of everything that I used or any detergent that I used to clean my kitchen so that you can uh, check them out guys if you've seen they have helped or you've liked any of them you can go and check them at Carrefour that is where I got most of them or maybe all of them because I can't see any oh with this one I just made it for myself this is just a down with some little water uh, if I don't have any, if I don't have any air freshener, I usually use this down. It's just something that I made for myself, and uh, the house usually smells nice. So I just used this bottle. It's a bottle that I got from uh, uh, my last spray, so I use it to spray any part that I've cleaned using the down in inside it. So this is just something that I need for myself. You can also use that tip. If you don't have any air wick or any air freshener, you can use downy, which you can get even at 20 bob. There are such as for 20 bob. And then just fill it with maybe a dog like 20 bob is enough. Then just put water. The, the house will smell nice. So with vinegar, I wipe the fridge and the microwave and uh, the grocery shelf I used vinegar and water for this antiseptic liquid I use I use it to wipe the floors after I've maybe swept and then I use water and this antiseptic liquid I just put kidogo like about uh, just like three drops of it in the water that I'm using to wipe the floors and the kitchen counter or even for, for both of them for this one and the Safisha disinfectant both of these uh, I use them to disinfect uh, the floors and the kitchen counter on, or anywhere or the tables anywhere I want to disinfect I use these Sufficient disinfectant, you can get it at Carrefour. Even the antiseptic liquid, you can also get it at Carrefour. These ones are good for disinfecting. I like this one uh, more than uh, the lavender lavender one because I feel and I, I love the scent it has. Yeah, like Dettol. It has that scent like Dettol. So I love it because it helps me clean the surfaces because of the babies and even the floors i also clean use both of these to clean the floors the tables like that to disinfect anywhere this is an antibacterial hand gel it's a pharmacy antibacterial hand gel we've used it for a long time uh even before the corona was here we were still using it it's almost finishing so it kills germs and cleanses so that's the pharmacy hand gel or sanitizer we use it as a sanitizer in this house what else for downy for downy i use it um after washing my clothes my clothes yes and the shears in the kitchen i use downy now they are smelling so nice they have a good thing that it's a luxury perfume lavender and white mask so you can also use down it has it has a long lasting scent yeah so i love down what else do i have air wick this is for making the room smell so nice my wild lavender and mountain breeze it's an air wick so i didn't use the downy in the bottle uh so i used air wick and also i have another tip for you guys this is something else i needed to show you floroba so this is an air freshener 
you can hang it somewhere in your kitchen and then your kitchen will smell nice will have a good scent so guys this is a good tip go get this it's only i guess 54 bob in kafo with the Safisha glass and tile window cleaner mine is almost over so i'll get another one this one is good for cleaning tiles windows and any of where, the, where there's any glass so Safisha, i use this Safisha, and you see it's all, almost over i use it a lot a lot a lot it's a good detergent for this bleach i use it to clean my kitchen clothes and what pouring in my sink after i've done everything i like pouring this bleach so that it can smell nice for this taco oven cleaner you saw what it did guys this is the deal for your oven it's a good deal go get this in Carrefour, guys this one is what i use for my viombos <laughs> washing dishes this is what i use i'm using the sparkle sparkle right now and then fried yeah so go get this at Carfo guys i hope i've helped you with good tips and good detergents to clean your kitchen guys if you like the video uh tell me and comment down below tell me what i've helped you with and also you can tell me other detergents to use in my kitchen thank you guys bye let's see each other in our next video guys